What's going on everyone? This is John from the Ob Tech channel coming at you today with a really cool video. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of this Lenovo Y700 IdeaPad gaming laptop that I'm super excited to take a look at today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. Well, I'm going to go ahead and set this down here. I'm going to pop this guy open. The packaging looks pretty cool. A lot of little just filler here. That's what's gonna be here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Lenovo Y700 Idea Pad. Oh, I'll break it. So go ahead and get rid of this. Oh wow, I like it feels really cold. It's cold to touch. So obviously, this is the bottom. And uh, you can see that that aluminum and the texture to it just Look at that, that is so cool. I am putting, it is putting a little bit of fingerprints already. Let's see, I want you to get a really good look at this. This is right out of the box. Has that, the JBL subwoofer there on the bottom. And it has the new cooling. So it looks like it sucks in the air from here, blows it out the back, which makes a lot of sense. And is a change they made from the Y50. Take a look at the inside of this. So it opens really easily. And so it comes with this little, little thin paper that just, you know, keeps everything clean and new for when you get it. The Y700 does come in a variety of sizes, either a 14 inch, 15.6 inch, or 17 inch. This one in particular is the 15.6 inch model, and the specifications on this particular unit are, it has the Skylake i7 6700 HQ quad core processor, as well as eight gigabytes of DDR4 2133 memory, the NVIDIA GTX 960 M4 gigabyte graphics chip, the display is a 60 hertz IPS display, so those wide viewing angles. For storage, it has a one terabyte 5400 RPM mechanical hard drive, and all this will set you back around $1,000. So I'll leave a link in the description for a unit with these specifications. This one weighs in at 5.7 pounds and is just 1.02 inches at its highest point. A quick overview of the connectivity on this notebook. On the left side, we have a power socket, USB 2 port, SD card reader, headphone microphone combo, and a Lenovo One Key recovery pin. On the right side, we have two USB 3.0 ports, a full size HDMI port, ethernet jack, and a Kensington security lock. I really like the chiclet style keyboard. It has a nice tactile feel and is really sturdy and rigid if you press down on it. And as you can see here, Lenovo did keep gamers in mind when they gave that subtle red accentuation around the WASD keys. There's also a red backlight that you can notice even in daylight and that has two brightness settings. So you are stuck with that red backlight. I do wish they would have included perhaps a couple more colors in case you got tired of red, but that's probably me just being overly picky. I enjoyed the trackpad being rather spacious for a laptop and resting your hands on the palm rest was quite comfortable because of the cool rubber material. I noticed the rubber material did not pick up fingerprints like the exterior aluminum did. The slanted front facing JBL speakers are impressive. Here's a decibel sound test. loud and crisp enough not to have to use external speakers while gaming with that JBL subwoofer on the bottom side of the laptop. The system idles around 20 decibels. This is my first time testing noise levels, so it may be a smidge louder with the phone a little closer, and I don't know how precise this particular app on the phone I downloaded is. Nonetheless, I thought I'd include it in this review. The AC adapter is 135 watts and it charges a four cell 60 watt hour battery. It charges pretty fast. Expect near five hours of battery life for productivity work, browsing the web, office work, etc. without full brightness on balance settings. Gaming would be closer to an hour 30, which doesn't seem like that much, but gaming laptops are really limited by the reality of hardware limitations in such a small form factor. Here I am examining the intake vent and the rear exhaust panel. I wanted to get an idea what this would be like using it as a true laptop, whether it be on the go, on the couch, in the bed, you get the idea. And the new cooling system definitely delivered. It's definitely a lot noticeably cooler than the Y50. Right there in that sweet spot for a gaming laptop, the build quality, I was very impressed with. The aluminum breast feel and the aluminum on the top and bottom gave it a very nice premium feel. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. And please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, want to see more like it. 
Thumbs down if you didn't like it. As always, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. This is John from the Optech channel. I will catch you guys in the next video.